In reference to the lovely Shiva, it's great to see a new batch of videos from the Matrix. As we mentioned earlier, our plan is to reduce the frequency of live sessions and focus more on creating video content. Make. And there will be a lot of very exciting videos in the next few weeks. Give from us. We have found out some new things, and we will tell you about them not... Ja, yeah. so see it as aus. Correct. Welches Thema haben wir heute, Shiva? Shiva? Yes, today we are discussing a highly sought-after topic, namely the current hot topic of whether the Earth is flat. Flat. Is the Earth round? Maybe she's none of those things. One does not know. And I decided, because the topic hasn't bothered me that much yet, really interested, because it doesn't actually have that much relevance, whether it is flat or round. But I was a little interested, and then I just went into the hypnagogic state and said, here... What is the true shape of the Earth now? Yes, that's correct. We have indeed thought about this and we can use hypnagogic states to inquire about such matters. It's the case that you can ask a question and then it will be answered that really... It is widely known that the flat Earth theory is familiar to everyone. It is believed that we inhabit a round Earth. Would you like to briefly... In more detail, yes, the main point of contention is whether the Earth is now flat, such a dome over it, or whether the Earth is just the way we learned it have and how NASA also sent us photos that the Earth... <laughs> round. Yes, that is correct. However, it is important to note that we have only recently started learning this. It is worth mentioning that 500 years ago, our approach to learning was quite different. Do you recall? At that time... Time. For many, many hundreds of years, it was the case that people knew about it anyway, assumed that the Earth is at the center of the universe and all other planets, the sun, everything revolves around the Earth. And at some point it was discovered that the planets actually always revolve around the... Furthermore, Galileo, for instance, made the discovery that the Earth is spherical and not flat, contrary to what is mentioned in the Bible or depicted on ancient maps. Despite everything, the dispute still persists and continues to exist. I also find it quite intriguing that you brought up the NASA photos, as the majority of them are not truly authentic, which is an interesting point to consider. Yeah. Yes, the majority of the photos provided by NASA have all been digitally generated. The photos are actually not genuine at all. Although they appear very authentic, they are not real. Real. It is not yet clear why they do it this Way. Anyway, the photos are all digital, so they're not really, the Earth isn't really photographed being. That means everything they show you isn't really what it is, how it really... But we'll enlighten you now. And it is also very interesting to note that a significant amount of photos are primarily being sent from the space station. From the International Space Station, it has been discovered from the photos that the astronauts have indeed been inserted in the pictures and films taken from the ISS. Inserted. And you know, this is something that we are familiar with, just as we are familiar with it. Two, if you make videos, you can also do them in front of a green screen. The advantage is, if you make a video in front of the green screen, then you can change the background as... Yes, we've already done that. That. We've already done it. For example, in our online seminar, activate your pineal gland. We also worked with that with a green screen, and then we could adjust the background as desired we liked. And there we sat in front of it... And sometimes, if you look closely, you can see it a little bit on the hair. It, yes, as soon as one activates the pineal gland and stimulates it to release a higher amount of DMT than usual, or to release DMT at all, the universe of wormholes opens up. The reason for this is that the dissolution of the individuals in the foreground and the resolution of the projected image on the green screen can sometimes interfere with each other. This occurs due to the interaction between the dissolution of the individuals in the foreground and the resolution of the projected image on the green screen. As a result, a phenomenon occurs where a piece of hair or something on the body's periphery may suddenly be missing. 
In the video recordings on the International Space Station, ISS, this phenomenon has also been observed. Some individuals who are knowledgeable about green screen work have questioned the purpose behind these recordings. The flat earthers find this to be a perfect opportunity to support their beliefs, as they argue that there is a necessity to deceive in order to conceal the true nature of the earth, which they claim is not round but flat. However, we have another theory to consider. It is also possible that NASA and various governments are much further ahead in space exploration than they have disclosed to us. That means they're already flying to the moon with some spaceships to Mars and back as... We would like to take a moment to direct your attention once again to our video on intergalactic trade. In this context, it can be argued that they are not investing billions of dollars to send people into space just to create videos from some space station, especially when they are already at that stage. In order to maintain a low budget, they simply handle everything internally during the course of the study. Studies. We already know about the moon landing, the first moon landing. The Russians and the Americans have been there all the time. It's decided who gets to the moon first. And since the Russians were further along than the Americans, they, Americans thought, yes, let's just do it all in one studio and then say we were the first on the moon. Exactly. So whether this is all connected to the fact that the Earth is flat, the fact that people are fooling around like that is a different... The statement suggests that the situation could be attributed to either the belief that the Earth is flat or to the possibility that they are more advanced and wish to economize on expenses and budgetary matters. Budget. Exactly. Well, then I would say, you have often asked us, if you, if you are astral, what was the Earth like? She was round for us. Let's clarify it, shall we? We, yes, how can that be if, for example, we are in one out-of-body experience? Why is the Earth round and not flat? In our experience, this has always been a very compelling argument. The idea of the Earth being flat is simply not feasible. We have had the opportunity to observe it in out-of-body states and witness the true nature of the Earth. Looks like, and it's round just like all the other planets. So I asked, and then the first thing I was told was, I don't know exactly the word Shabshukhtan or Shabshufta understood, but called Shabshukhtan or Shabshufta. When I heard that, I was thinking to myself, what is going on here? Yes, that was very... We is the tatsaklike form der Erde. Then I said, listen to me, you have to show me in pictures because I don't understand. Yes, we are also completing a picture now and you can imagine this form was shown to me and it is... In a manner of speaking, as if being pulled through the black space. I can demonstrate it again in this manner now. So it happened like this. There was a massive swirling of energy. It was already becoming circular there and here. It was like the energy was flowing in this way. The scene was filled with swirling, colorful patterns, numerous swirling patterns, as can be observed in the image once again. In the picture, I have it in such a way. I have seen a brightly shining golden light and this enormous vortex of energy in the middle which has just traveled through the black space. Drove is now the wrong word, but it was simply drawn through the space, through the black space. Exactly. And then I either returned to my senses or asked Jonathan, hey, they just told me that the earth is a shab shifter. Can you believe it? What could that possibly mean? And he responded in the following manner. He liked that, or you? What did you say? Yes, of course it confused us at first. Hello, listen for yourself. What does the earth look like? Round or flat? And then comes the term shapeshifter. As we contemplated, we often wondered about the concept of shapeshifters. It suggests that the earth has the ability to undergo transformation. How is such a phenomenon possible? I'm quite certain that such an occurrence would have undoubtedly been detected by the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA, or any other relevant entity. Subsequently, it follows that this would appear entirely logical to us. When we examine quantum physics, we find that a particle and a wave coexist. This duality is a fundamental aspect of quantum mechanics, where particles exhibit both wave-like and particle-like behavior. This phenomenon is a key feature of quantum physics, and it has been a subject of extensive study and debate among physicists. Exist. This means using the double-slit experiment in quantum physics. You can clearly see that matter develops as waves and as particles can show. Yes, matter has the ability to manifest itself in two different forms, either as a wave or as a particle. 
What is particularly intriguing about the findings from the double slit experiment is that a particle does not consistently exhibit particle like behavior but also demonstrates wave like characteristics. However, if one were to, for instance, attempt to observe the moment at which the particle transforms into a wave, there was a collective sentiment that it was imperative to capture this phenomenon on film. The researchers proceeded by setting up a camera to meticulously capture the precise moment when the matter undergoes a transformation into a wave. To their surprise, the matter, or the particle, retained its particle nature and did not undergo the expected transformation into a wave. The concept is quite amusing as the particle consistently maintained its particle nature only when it was observed, or more precisely, when it was filmed by an observer. Yes, and now we are gradually approaching the subject. For instance, when we visualize our solar system as a model of an atom with the sun at the center and all the electrons orbiting around it, it is often stated that, just like in the microscopic scale, in the grand scheme of things, therefore the Earth is essentially a particle just on a larger scale. And as soon as no one is observing the Earth, it transforms into a wave. When we considered the matter, we believed that the term shapeshifter would be appropriate, don't you think? Yes, and then suddenly something clicked for me, and the picture suddenly made sense to me as well. It was like a massive swirling vortex of energy, and in the center of this energy vortex there was already a spherical shape. So it's like this wave of energy surrounds a sphere, but I have, don't see any in there now, per se. I could only see the... In that sense, as observed, it becomes quite intriguing. Therefore, it suddenly made sense. Of course, at this moment, we cannot assert that it is the absolute truth. It is simply what our higher self has revealed to us. And yes, that is just the latest finding, so it is neither the flat earth nor the round earth. This represents the most recent understanding of the situation. Earth. For us, it is now the quantum field Earth. Of course, we can't answer all questions all the way to the end because so far we have received this. Questions still remain. Unanswered? Logical, sure, but maybe now the eternal argument between flat or round has ended. Now you can at least take a new direction. Yes, or that a new component has been added that you perhaps should take into account. Because for some, it is very clear that the Earth is flat. Experiments were carried out. They analyzed it in detail and so on. So, Furthermore, individuals who hold the belief that the Earth is indeed spherical have conducted experiments and presented compelling evidence to demonstrate that the Earth cannot be flat. Well, now everything starts to make sense. The pieces are falling into place, and the situation is becoming clear. In this particular situation, there are multiple possibilities to consider. It is possible that both options are valid, or it is also possible that neither of the options holds true. This is indeed accurate. That is indeed the case. Perhaps this information could assist individuals who believe in a flat Earth or a spherical Earth to consider this possibility. In the realm of quantum physics and within the framework of quantum mechanics, yes, and we are aware that everything in this place is related to the principles of quantum mechanics. Quantum, due to this, also our Earth, in this particular context, we can, for instance, recommend the film What the Bleep Do We Know? There is a great deal of information presented and explained about quantum mechanics, which is indeed very fascinating. To be able to understand quantum mechanics better, and therefore you can't definitely have to read complicated <laughs> books. Yes, in any case, a very exciting topic. So for me, the question has now become more clear because we have here with us where we live right now in beautiful El Paraíso Verde, often talked about flat or... And yes, in the meantime, it has taken on a new direction. Ja, at least for us in any case. Yes, that is correct. Is there anything else that we should add? Else to add? No, nope, especially not when we gain new. Yes, we'll let you know. And indeed, we express our gratitude once again for your viewership and look forward to the next video. Ciao, ciao.